So let's talk about Batman the Black Mirror. I always like to talk about the actual edition first. So this is the hardcover. It's not oversized, nothing unique about it, nothing special. It's just your standard edition. There is a Joker, obviously, piece picture here. Uh, but he's not really relevant to the story, so I don't want you to think this is a Joker story, because it's not. Uh, it's written by Scott Snyder, and there's art by two separate artists. Uh, and their styles are very different, but there's a reason. They don't just throw it in there randomly. So this is a hardcover. It's got the sleeve on it. Sleeve comes off, and it's just your standard matte black hardcover. <laughs> special features. This book doesn't really do much in the area of special features. They do have like a section where there's some sketches. But really that's it. I mean, so if you're looking for special features, this is not the book for you. So what's unique about this? Scott Snyder, this is the first time to my knowledge that he wrote Batman, um, and it's a fantastic book. This is, I'll just tell you right now, this book is awesome. I definitely recommend reading it. But there are some things you need to know before you pick it up. Jim Gordon is the police commissioner of, of Gotham. His daughter is paralyzed from the waist down in a wheelchair because of an incident with the Joker. That does, you just see it and it, they kind of assume you know it. Second thing you need to know, uh, Dick Grayson has taken over for Batman because Batman is traveling the world making other Batman people, he's training them, whatever. That, that's why Dick Grayson is currently Batman. Third thing you need to know, Dick Grayson uh, used to be part of a circus, High Wire Performing Act. His parents were murdered as a result of a member of the Zuko family. So all the things I just mentioned, uh, that's all you need to know. You don't need to go crazy and read them all before you get here. You just need to touch, you need to know those basic things before you proceed with this. So what's the story about? This story is about Dick Grayson taking over as Batman. And really there's three parts. And the first part is he's trying to um, stop the society of people who are selling illegal trade items. Um, and he's trying to break that up. Second story arc, Jim Gordon, it's kind of a, a telling of his family and his story, and uh, there's looking in the past and, and into the present as well. They're kind of examining the two, um, and that was the second artist, and I thought that was done very, very well. The third part of the story, I can't really go into too much detail, but it does connect parts one, two, and then three kind of takes a life of its own. They seem separate, uh, but not completely detached, and at the end, they that third portion they all tie together and it all is one big picture so what are the pros of this book um the first pro of this book is it's just the quality of the story it really builds it starts at a really they call it, i guess a slow burn or whatever they call it it just rises i mean you definitely by the end you're you want to know how this thing ends another pro is you really kind of get to see jim gordon i could care less about jim gordon this story made me care a little bit uh, about jim gordon so you get to see the history of him his family, um, his role, I guess, in the whole story, it's pretty cool to see. Another pro, I thought the art was good. Now, Jock, the artist here, um, I was never really a fan of his work. Having read this book, it, it's the perfect fit for the type of story, and it enhances the story, and the writing and the art really fit together. I thought it was great. Really love the art. I'm a fan of his now after reading this. I thought it was good. It's a quality read. Honestly, like this is a really solid read. It's a great story. Um, there's a payout. You feel like everything gets connected. There's no loose ends that are left. Um, it's, a, it's a good book. So you said it's great. What are the cons? It's not accessible to new readers. If you're a new Batman person, um, you might be okay if you understand the things that I had said earlier. Um, but this is tough for new readers. There are parts in this book where they use kind of abbreviated text language where I didn't know what the heck was going on. Maybe I'm just an idiot, but um, some of the verbiage in there was confusing at times. But it was mostly early on. As it went later, I didn't feel the same way. Some overall thoughts. I will be dead honest with you. This is one of my favorite comic stories I've read. I mean, it was it was really interesting, really intriguing. Um, it actually made me care about Dick Grayson a little bit. Made me care about the Gordon family a little bit. And it was just a great, great adventure, detective, action story. So I would highly recommend you read this. I would not highly recommend you read this as your first Batman story ever. I'd read Court of Owls as my first Batman story ever. Hey, I did it. I'm all right. Um, but this is a, a great, great book. So I appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you read this, what did you think? Uh, what would you read next? Um, what is there a book that's like this? Is there something that has that 
that quality writing and art and it's all meshed meshed together well it doesn't have to be batman just what would you recommend so thanks for checking out the channel appreciate you guys watching take care a uh, happy thanksgiving yeah take care guys happy holidays